Happy birthday to legendary singer Sade. Happy birthday to late legendary R&B singer Aaliyah. Happy birthday to the head announcer of Let's Make a Deal, Jonathan Magnum. I can't believe Jonathan Magnum is now 50. He don't even look 50. But anyway, Xavier back again with another video. I got three NBA games to do a recap on. This video rant is sponsored by Bolt24. Hydration with electrolyte. Hold on one second. Yeah, I saw these today at work. And I figured why not buy one. They only have two flavors at my job. They were selling this, the tropical mango, the tropical mango, and the mixed berry. So I decided to get the tropical mango. Before I do a recap of these three games, I'm here to give you my quick halftime report on today's round two between the Houston Rockets and the San Antonio Spurs. Rockets killed the first quarter, outscoring the Spurs 31 to 20. But they gave up 29 points in the second quarter while scoring 23. At halftime, Rockets 53, Spurs 50. Can the Rockets win their second game without the presence of James Harden or will they suffer another loss? We don't know. We just have to find out and see. As for you, Christian Wood... Please make a damn free throw and a damn three-pointer and quit shooting air balls. Please. Please, Christian Wood. But in the meantime, let's do a recap of this game first. First, we're going to do a recap of this past Thursday's round one game between the Houston Rockets and the San Antonio Spurs. On my break at work, I pretty much added everything. How many points did each team score at halftime and after the third quarter? And how many points did each bench get? So let's get right into it. First, we're going to do a recap of this Rocket Spurs game. Rockets outscored the Spurs in the first quarter 30-27. Both teams scored 18 points apiece in the second quarter. At halftime, Rockets 48, Spurs 45. Rockets gave up 34 points in the third quarter while scoring 27. After three, Rockets 79, Spurs 75. Rockets made a comeback in the fourth quarter, outscoring the Spurs 34-26. Final score, Houston Rockets 109, San Antonio Spurs 105. Rockets are now 4-6 as the Spurs fall 6-6. Six six. Rockets finally win their first road trip game, let alone their first game in general without the presence of James Harden. Keldon Johnson, 29 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. Lonnie Walker, 16 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. LaMarcus Aldridge, 11 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. DeMar DeRozan, 13 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists. And DeJounte Murray, 10 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists. For the bench, they get 26 points. Patty Mills, 7 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists. Devin Vasil, 12 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. Rudy Gay, 5 points, 5 rebounds, no assists. And Jacob Poltel, 
2.6 rebounds, 3 assists. Christian Wood, 27 points, 15 rebounds, 1 assist. Sterling Brown, 23 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists. Jay Sean Tate, 13 points, 5 rebounds, 10 assists. P.J. Tucker, 10 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. And Ben Mclemore, 3 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. For the bench, they get 33 points. David Nawaba, 9 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. DeMarcus Boogie Cousins, 9 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. K.J. Martin Jr., 6 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. And Mason Jones, 9 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist. The player of the game was Christian Wood with 27 points, 15 rebounds, and 1 assist. Rockets are right now facing the Spurs in round two. Then on Martin Luther King Day, they go against the Bulls in Shottown. They're back at the crib on Wednesday, taking on the Suns. Friday, they go to Motown to take on the Pistons. The 23rd, they go against the Mavericks. The 26th, taking on the Wizards. The 28th, taking on the Trailblazers. The 30th, against the Pelicans. The 1st, and the 3rd against the Thunder. I'm glad I'm finally wearing this Rockets hat. I have not worn my Rockets hat doing a recap of these Rockets games since they won their third game this season. Finally, I am wearing my Rockets hat after they won this past Thursday against the Spurs. Congratulations, Rockets. I knew you guys could do it without James Harden, who's now playing for the Nets. Let's see if the Rockets can beat them again today. Oh, I am so happy that I'm finally wearing this damn hat. Because the Rockets beat the Spurs. Finally won a game after two devastated losses to the defending champs, the Lakers. Congratulations, Rockets. I'm so proud of y'all. Finally won a game after two devastated losses against the Lakers. I definitely got to take a drink for the Rockets. But y'all still got a long way to go. Now let's do a recap of this game. Taking my hat off for this one. This past Thursday's round two between the Miami Heat and the Philadelphia 76ers. The Heat got crushed in the first half. They outscored the. They gave up 38 points in the first quarter while scoring 30. Then they gave up 35 points in the second quarter while scoring 28. At halftime, 76 or 73, Heat 58. The Heat gave up 25 points in the third quarter while scoring 20. After three, 76ers, 98, Heat, 78. The Heat made a comeback in the fourth quarter, outscoring the 76ers, 30-27. to But it was not enough as the final score would be Philadelphia, 76ers, 125, Miami Heat, 108. The 76ers are 9-4 as the Heat fall 4-6. Tobias Harris, 18 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. Tyrese Maxey, 15 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist. 
Danny Green, 12 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Ben Simmons, 10 points, 10 rebounds, 12 assists. And Joel Embiid, 9 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. For the bench, they get 61 points. Shake Milton, 31 points, 2 rebounds, 7 assists. Dwight Howard, 8 points, 4 rebounds, no assists. Isaiah Joe, 12 points, no rebounds, no assists. Matisse Thibault, 8 points, 1 rebound, no assists. Mike Scott, no points, 2 rebounds, no assists. Dakota Matthews, no points, no rebounds. No rebounds, one assist. Paul Reed, two points, no rebounds, no assist. Both Terrence Ferguson and Tony Bradley had no points, no rebounds, and no assists. Duncan Robinson, 22 points, two rebounds, one assist. Gabe Vincent, 21 points, 2 rebounds, 8 assists. Tyler Harrow, 17 points, three, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Precious Echua, 10 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists. And Kelly Olenek, 12 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. For the bench, they get 26 points. Matt Struss, 11 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist. Andre Iguodala, 2 points, 3 rebounds, 8 assists. And Chris Silva, 13 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist. The player of the game was Shake Milton with 31 points, 2 rebounds, and 7 assists. Hey, I give the 76ers credit. They definitely came to play. They beat the Heat not once but twice. I definitely give them that. Tough loss for the Heat this past Thursday. But that's okay. Just keep your heads up, Heat. Get your shit together and get yourselves ready for tonight and Martin Luther King Day as y'all take on the Detroit Pistons. Then they go to Toronto Wednesday and Friday to go against the 2019 champs, the Raptors. Next Saturday and next Monday, they go against the Brooklyn Nets. I want to see how James Harden does in the Nets. The 27th, they take on the Denver Chicken Nuggets. The 28th, they take on the Clippers. The 30th, they take on the Kings. The 1st, they take on the Hornets. Like I said, it was two tough losses for the Heat. But I guarantee you, they'll try to beat the Pistons tonight and on Martin Luther King Day. And also, good luck to the Pistons. Well, I got one more game to do a recap on. Now we're going to do a recap of last night's game between the New Orleans Pelicans and the defending champs, the L.A. Lakers. Lakers gave up 28 points in the first quarter while scoring 20. But they made a comeback in the second quarter, outscoring the Pelicans 37 to 30. At halftime, Pelicans 58, Lakers 57. The Lakers dominated the second half. They outscored the Pelicans in the third quarter 27 to 16. 
after three. Lakers 84, Pelicans 74. Lakers outscored the Pelicans in the fourth quarter 28 to 21. Final score, Los Angeles Lakers 112, New Orleans Pelicans 95. Lakers are 11 and three as the Pelicans fall four to seven. And the Lakers are the number one seed in the Western Conference. LeBron James, 21 points, 8 rebounds, 11 assists. Anthony Davis, 17 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. Contavious Caldwell Pope, 16 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist. Dennis Schroeder, 12 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. And Marc Gasol, 5 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. For the bench, they get 41 points. Kyle Kuzma, 11 points, 13 rebounds, 1 assist. Montressel Harrell, 16 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. Alex Caruso, 9 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. Markeith Morris, 5 points, one rebound, two assists. Wesley Matthews, no points, no rebounds, one assist. Gwen Cook, Taylor Horton Tucker, and Alfonso McKinney had no points, no rebounds, and no assists. I can't believe these NBA games are back without the presence of the fans. Damn, bro, when can the fans go back to these arenas so they can watch their favorite basketball teams play? They probably won't let them do it until COVID is finally over. So the fans have no choice but to watch these games at home. Zion Williamson, 21 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists. Former Los Angeles Laker Brandon Ingram, 20 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists. Nicole Alexander Walker, 12 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. Josh Hart, 7 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. And Steven Adams, 4 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist. For the bench, they get 43 points. J.J. Reddick, 12 points, 6 rebounds, no assists. Niccolo Melli, no points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist. Eric Blesso, 7 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists. Kira Lewis Jr., Four points, no rebounds, two assists. Jackson Hayes, eight points, four rebounds, no assists. And Najee Marshall, no points, one rebound, one assist. Do I really have to say who was the player of the game? It was King James. With 21 points, 8 rebounds, and 11 assists. Wow. So let's see who the Lakers will face. Oh yeah, they'll face the Warriors on Martin Luther King Day. Then they'll go against the Bucks on the 21st. Next Saturday, they go against the Bulls. Next Monday... They go against LeBron's former team, the Cavaliers. The 27th against the 76ers. The 28th against the Pistons. The 30th against the Celtics. And the 1st against the Hawks.
Kudos to the Lakers. They won another one. Lakers win another game. And like I said, they're the number one seed in the Western Conference. So now the Lakers can relax today, tomorrow, and then they're back on the court on Martin Luther King Day taking on Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. Keep up the good work, Lakers. I'm still proud of y'all for winning last year's NBA championship for Kobe and Gigi. Speaking of Kobe, we are 10 days away from the one-year anniversary of the passing of Kobe, Gigi, and those seven other people that died in that helicopter crash last year on January 26th. It still hurts to this day that Kobe is not here anymore. I can't believe it. But that wraps up my thoughts about this past Thursday's game between the Houston Rockets and the San Antonio Spurs. This past Thursday's round two between the Miami Heat and the Philadelphia 76ers. And last night's game between the New Orleans Pelicans and the LA Lakers. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next Lakers, Rockets, and Heat rants. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave your comment down below. And I'll catch you tomorrow about my thoughts on today's game between the Houston Rockets and the San Antonio Spurs, round two. Tonight's game between the Detroit Pistons and the Miami Heat. And reminiscing 19 years of a tag team match between Booker T and Kurt Angle and the two-man power trip, Triple H and Stone Cold Steve Austin from the January 17th, 2002 edition of SmackDown. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Go Los Angeles Lakers. Go Miami Heat. And go Houston Rockets.